Hello, so let's create a holiday booking system which will consist of a multi repo micro service architecture. So we'll have a booking service and an accommodation service. Booking service is where we actually perform the actual booking from a lead, and then the accommodations micro service will actually help us in finding accommodation. We'll use Mediator for the internal service communications and we're going to use Mass Transit for inter-service communication. We're going to use the RabbitMQ broker for that event-driven communication between services. And then we're going to have another repository, which is the local orchestration, which will help us debug all these microservices in a central place all right let's use the donut cli to create the first microservice using the clean architecture template by jason taylor let's create the booking service now let's create the accommodation service let's open them up and see how they look okay they look very straightforward application layer domain layer infrastructure layer and the presentation layer let's test it out authorize this is going to require a better token let's just modify the payload for the user login there we go the username and password you can retrieve in the database initialization class let's get the better token and there we go now it works after we we used our JWT token. Let's create the booking entity. There we go. And then let's create the DTO after a particular booking has been created. Let's just set the initial status to pending. All right, let's just add the DB set to our application DB context. Remember to execute your migration scripts. There we go, it works. Let's create the GitHub repositories for the three microservices. Now let's push the changes through. Perfect. Accommodation service pushed. Local orchestration GitHub repo as well. Let's just create it. Let's create the contracts repository as well, which will be shared between microservices. The contracts will include events that we publish from a microservice and then consume from another microservice. We are going to use Git submodules to clone the contracts repository. Let's add the submodule to the booking service. Perfect. Let's commit the changes. Let's push the changes as well. Ah, uh, as you can see now, that's the hash of the contracts repository that it's pointing to. It's perfect. Let's just go into the submodules repository, make sure that we are on our main branch. Cool. Let's push the booking service with the new contract hash. It was before now it's 133 perfect that's been updated awesome let's just add the contracts project to our booking service let's 
so you can publish an event that will be consumed by the accommodation service or some Let's just configure Mass Transit now so that the publishing can actually work. We're going to use RabbitMQ there. We're gonna use the default for the three dash management tag. RabbitMQ tag. Awesome. Let's spin up the RabbitMQ container as you can see. The exchange is created. The queue is going to bind immediately when we publish a message. Let's add mass transit to the accommodation service as well so it can consume that message that we published in the booking service. And let's add the contract sub module to the accommodation service as well. Let's create a consumer that's going to consume the message that's published by the booking service. As you can see, we need Docker to be running. Uh, as you can see, there's a port slash there. Let's just fix that. Uh -huh. By default, the entry assembly is not the correct assembly. Let's just modify it to be the infrastructure assembly. Perfect. Cool. The endpoint has been configured by mass transit. Looks good. There's a queue automatically created by mass transit for us. If we debug again, as you can see, the message was published and now it's being consumed by the accommodation service. Yep, the IDs are identical, same message which was published. What we're going to do next is that after we found availability for a particular country, we're going to publish back the available accommodation and that message is going to be consumed by the booking service and update the booking accordingly. That's in the next episode of Holiday Booking System.